How's it going today, everyone? Uh, what I have for you is another Lumion 11 feature that was added. Now, I guess that this isn't so much uh, adding a feature as it is removing of one. So I made a video about this a while back uh, featuring HRI videos, basically saying like they are possible. The problem is they have to be smaller than 50 megabytes, but Lumion got rid of that cap entirely. So a quick example of this is we took some drone footage today and mind you it is a little bit shaky just because we try to i guess try to do the best we could today but it was a little bit windy um and we didn't have a lot of time to kind of set it up but it will get the point across so this is 543 megabytes uh that's more than 10 times what the uh well i guess 10.5 would have been able to have um and i think that this is a really big step forward for lumion because what you can now do is if you have a drone shot, you can go to whatever construction site, maybe even your backyard, and you can just take a perfectly horizontal shot of maybe like trees blowing boats in the, the lake or something like that. And then you can just use that as your background in Lumion. Um, I will say this though, that um, it makes your file very slow. So I would leave this until the absolute like last thing you do. Uh, I wouldn't uh, put this on and then go around changing materials. like. Uh, it seems like it's fine if you bring in the board, which uh, this is just like a regular, um, this is just a regular uh, plane in Blender that I just warped. Uh, the reason why I do it in Blender is I find it easier um, because this face orientation, uh, this, uh, this red part here is completely invisible inside of Lumion, whereas you'll see this part. So that means that the real skies can go through this. Uh, and, but you'll still see the video on that side. So that it shouldn't affect your lighting inside of your scene or anything. And you can help uh, it just helps match it all up. Uh, so I will share this if people want to try it out with their own video. Um, but yeah, if I bring in the 6099, so this is the first one that we took, I think. And yeah, so as you can see, once I do that, uh, everything gets pretty choppy. Um, but you can see here, like the cars are moving. Um, there's a truck going by, there's some steam here. I think the, the crane moves at one point. Um, so we did have one that we just tried to stabilize a little bit and that actually compressed it down to 41 megabytes. I'm not really sure how that works, but that is the one that I thought looked a little bit better because the camera wasn't moving around as much. Um, but uh, what I'm gonna show you now is um, just kind of what that looks like if you render it out. So I do have a, uh, I do have a video done that I'll show you in a second and you can kind of see what you think about it. Um, but what's neat about this is that in this particular case, I'm using a plane, but as I said, you could actually use a 360 camera. So if you had, I'd probably recommend you have one that can do at least 8k because the panoramas do get more stretched out. Um, well, I guess I shouldn't say that you could do one with 4k, but 8k is the optimal one to use it with. Um, then you can just drop one of the HDRI cubes or spheres, um, that I made in one of my past videos. Uh, you can just drop that in and you can have a completely 360 video inside of Lumion. So that if it's like an apartment with a lot of windows, um, no matter where you go in the apartment, you'll always have an actual uh, like plane outside of the window. Um, so yeah, but if we play this, you can see a little person moving there. Uh, there's like a car coming in there. And I think if we wait a moment, then the truck is going to come around the corner. Um, but it, I, to me, this seems like it makes your, your scenes come a little bit more alive. Yeah. And then see, there's a truck coming there. So it kind of gets cut off, but this is very easy. So this is very hard on the viewport of Lumion, like it'll make everything choppy, but it seems like it does absolutely nothing when it comes to actually rendering it out. And when you do go to render it, something I would recommend you do is, um, try and match your frames up with the frames in the video the best you can. Um, I think in the, I think the drone shot. We, or the drone video we had was like 24 frames. So I figured 25 would be good enough. Um, but if you can get that to thick, uh, 30 or even 60, then that would be perfect. So um, yeah, what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to run the video and then we can uh, just talk about that for a second. Right, so as I said, um, it could have been a little bit better with just making the camera be uh, more stabilized, but I do think that it does a well enough job of just conveying what you can do with this. Um, having fine nature and things like that are fantastic, but if you can go to the actual site and take videos of it, then not only will it save you a ton of time in rendering, but it'll save you a ton of time because 
in Lumion, like you're just not going to be able to get this much detail in the background. And if you are, you're going to be spending days just getting everything right. So I think that this is something that could really uh, improve Lumion overall, especially when it comes to like high rise scenes, because you can have, you know, maybe it's like reflections, things like that, that look a little more realistic in the background. So yeah, let me know what you think about this uh, in the comments below. Um, I am really happy that they added this because I actually had sent in feedback about this a couple months ago. Um, just saying like, you know, remove it all together um, because we, we, we can uh, kind of figure out for ourselves uh, if it's too big of a file size. And honestly, 50 megabytes is just not enough. Like even for a texture that you just be putting on a TV, like 50 is a, a very small amount for a lot of stuff like that. So um, yeah, if you're not uh, already subscribed to the channel, I'd really appreciate it if you help me out with the YouTube algorithm and you hit that button. Uh, if you are subscribed, thank you very much for checking out my videos. And I will have another couple coming up very soon. Have a great night, guys.